Hey there, panapons and saucepans, and also people watching the video on YouTube normally. Uh, aka everyone, I guess. I, it's been a long time. It's been, it's been, it's been a bit. It's been too long. I, I'm not finished any of the games yet, so technically this is a little bit too early. However, I'm just, I just want to do it. I just, I, it's, it's been a while, and... All three games, like I'm all three games I'm playing right now has the potential of just blowing up in my face, of giving me a good time. And yet today I finished early. So you know what? Might as well do this. Like this is perfect situation to do this. By the time the voting period will be over, uh we will be able to just uh like uh like 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 we will have moved moved on to the next game. So it it counts. It's fine. Hey, hi. Hey there, everyone. This is a start. I have a lot to say today, too. Today is gonna, is gonna be kind of a special day because we're gonna be working through a slightly changed system. I'm gonna be talking about that. And also, four games are going to be decided. Future Royals subjects, Royal Royals. I know this is gonna delay the next event by a little bit. But we got a lot to go through, and gosh darn it, I want to do that. So here, no wait, wait, stop, stop. Well, you know what? I didn't. Sh you know what? I didn't shuffle. You know what? That's fine. Here we go. Unshuffle. Who do we get? Rixie. You did it. Okay, that's exciting, Rixie. I do not know what to expect out of you. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, I know, uh, I know you're part of Patapon. I know you're there. Uh, you post, you know, semi-regularly about about very specific things. But that's count, Rixie. I don't know what to expect out of you. Give me three games. I'm gonna choose one of them, and I'm gonna play it after three games. <laughs> There's gonna be three games I'm gonna be playing. I don't know how long they're gonna be, and after that, it's gonna be the time of Rixie. Oh, that's exciting. That is exciting. Maybe you're not... You won because maybe I made a mistake. Because normally I like to shuffle the inputs, right? But whatever. Like, what happened, happened. It, I'm, I am okay with that. Out of 219 people in this list. You're the one who got got. Rixie Chow. Okay, so, step two. Um, let's see here. Might have to do an editing. Maybe not. No, I won't. So, uh, at the end of last year, we've had a little contest organized by Pizza Pony. Uh, there was a contest, and a lot of people uh, actually participated. Like, I, I was pleasantly surprised. A whole lot of people basically had to sort it out my favorites amongst the game that I have played in 2022. And uh, using, like, the sports challenge site where you can like make prediction and whatnot and the closest one would be able to set up a manager list and you know what they did it lotus land sigma is the one who ultimately won right here and i asked hey give me a list of game choose a list from the list of games so that we can play i can play one of those and people are gonna vote some people might have noticed it's these three. A certain commonality between the, the, the games. There's a bit of a theme. So, saying it out loud for posterity, we are going to be choosing among Spyro 3. Something subtitle. Crash Team Racing. The PlayStation Klonoa game, which I believe is probably the first one. I don't know. Silent Hill, the original one, and bucking the trend a little bit, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go on a trailer hunt for these because these are all pre-trailer era games and trailers are always very bad. I will, however, fish out a long play for each of these games, hopefully, and I'm going to put a link on, on the Patreon page. So if you don't know about them, you'll be able to learn a little bit about them. But uh, let me, let me, oh, there's something I forgot to do, but that's fine. Uh, let me think about this. Like, just, so let's just, let me share a few things about these games. All of these are very exciting. So, Chrono Trigger, 
I am extremely aware of that game. I know that game. I beat that game 20 times in my youth. And earlier in 2022, I saw also by sheer happenstance a very thorough uh, run through of the game that went through multiple times. So vote that game if you are aware. Like, you know, I just want people to be aware of that if they vote for it. It would not be a blind run through, it would be an extremely. Uh, I know pretty much what is helping run through. Also, out of five, probably the longest. Silent Hill, I have played a tiny little bit of it, like, 20 years ago. Yeah, more than 20 years ago, actually. Wild. So, uh, so I played a tiny little bit. I, f I don't remember anything. Um, but, and, uh, Crash Team Racing, I played the, the demo that was at the end of Spiral 2. And the other two, I don't know anything about them. Those would be... Sheer going in, not knowing anything that I know about anything. I don't know which game would be the shortest. Like, I just do not know, but Chrono Trigger would definitely be the longest. And I think if you're voting for suffering, like, if, you're, if, if your goal is for me to have a bad time, that's a good time for you, so to speak. I, I get the feeling CTR is, like, by far the hardest game in this list. I don't know, though. But man, I remember not not winning when I played the demo. But maybe that's just the demo. Like, I don't know. All these games look fantastic. I, I'm just looking forward to, to see how this goes. Like, I, I, I do. I want... I'm looking forward to seeing who the winner is. And I'm, I'm going to play the game. And, like, either of these is going to be a fantastic time. I've been playing a lot of PlayStation games last year. I feel like as I've been giving more power to people to choose... I feel like there's sort of like that's where the nostalgia of my audiences versus mine, which is like two generations before with the NES and the and the Super Nintendo. But at the same time, I just do not have a lot of experience with PlayStation and N64 games, so it kind of cancels out. Like it, it, it is still a lot of room for a lot of fun discovery. So. I will set up a ranking vote for these five games. You rank, you go on a website, you rank them in order. Uh, if you if you forgot how ranking votes work, like check out the past videos where I think I went to detail about it. Just follow the instructions on the website. People were compl like I have equal amount of people who want to know what are the current trends and people who want it to keep it secret the whole way through. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might keep it secret this time. Maybe we'll alternate. It's all good. It's all good. All right. So Spiral 3, Crash Team Racing, Klonoa, Silent Hill, or Crow Trigger. That is a wild, 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 wild vote. Okay. Here's the thing. I've been dreaming up a new way to handle things. And I want to test this out to right now, today. So this is why we're going to be selecting four votes. Because that's how it went. Last time I was talking... <laughs> why did I use that tone? I don't know. Last So yesterday, last night, I was talking about how I thought I wanted to do things. And it was so complicated that people thought, hey, maybe there should be a flowchart. And then Code Gorilla was like, I'm going to make you a flowchart. Then I wake up this morning to the sweet flowchart about what the hell is going on. Okay, first, let me say some words about the voting system. As of now, I am honestly extremely happy with it. I am extremely happy, for example, with uh, the vote system we have going on. Like the royal system, I like it a lot. It has led to a great variety of games being played, including some I either never even heard about or games that I probably would never have tried. I've branched out into a whole bunch of interesting genres, uh, classic games that I just never played. Uh, and, you know, and like I was saying, like a really, really awesome mix of... Games we knew we would love, that the, we knew I would love, and also games that were just a complete surprise. I just, I love the process. Maybe there's some frustration at how unlikely it is to be picked as a royal. I mean, I do apologize for that. 
But in this case, I do believe like randomness is just the fairest way to go about it. Like I don't want to be there be like a paying incentive or anything. Like it's just raw luck all day every day. I think it's been working out. And uh, yeah. So that said, that that I just said that that does not change. The wheel. I love the wheel. I love the big stupid wheel of of things, and I love the randomness of it. However. I keep being slightly frustrated by how I've been trying to give an advantage to games that, I know, don't win. They end up being runner-up and even second runner-up. Like, when games get runner-up, normally, well, very often it is extremely close running. And, you know, I want to give them an edge because it's clear people like that game for whatever reason. It's just that for whatever reason they didn't win. When we were starting this system... The, what I was doing is I gave runner up. They were just like right on the next uh, on the next poll, but that had two effects. I feel like one, it limited the diversity of new games because two games out of five were kind of always the same, and they ended up just kind of losing all the time, which was just kind of sad, and it felt like a weird, humiliating parade instead of being a celebration of you can do it. So then we tried a second idea was to give them extra weight on the wheel. This, I feel, doesn't work because the wheel is absolutely gigantic and I refuse to shrink it. So this is what we're going to do. First three spin of the wheel, they remain completely free. They completely remain completely random. I just spin the wheel three times. We get things. We laugh. We cry. Those are the choices. We did it. Hooray. No? Simple enough. I know people love the tags, so for the fourth spin, I'm going to spin the tags from wheel C, and then I'm going to specifically look right here. These are the 10 points, and these are the 5 points. I'm going to look specifically if any game in this corresponds to that tag, and if it does, that that's it. That's the fourth game on, on the list. If it's not in the 10 points, then we'll look at the five points. Same thing. And then, if there's not there... So, okay. So, a little bit of a something, a little bit of an aside. Some people have asked me, Rao Cal, for the mystery box, why do you do all these things? Why do you set up all these crazy nightmare scenarios? Why don't you just pick games? I want you to just pick games. I respect that. Here's the, th here's the truth. Throughout the years, I've managed to kind of casually slip in every game I really wanted to play. And I am at a point where I could play almost any game within the bucket with the same level of zeal. I am almost running out of games that I want to play just a tiny, tiny little bit more. I mean, the last ones were Outer Wilds. Uh, Copy Kitty and um, and I had a time death wish. Like at this point, I almost feel confident. I'm I'm at a level where anything in the bucket could go. However, I want to keep the third slot. Like I want to keep the third slot because it's a simple way for me to slip in something. If I if there is a game that pops up that I absolutely must play, or if I want to give the slot away for a contest or something. Like the Lotus Land Sigma special prize, normally that would have been this. That would have been a third slot that I'm just transforming because I want to go through the full experience today. So, like, I think that makes sense, right? So, and I, like, yeah, so I think it's important for me to keep that slot alive so that, you know, so it's not like a surprise or anything. And this is why I want to use it with a way so so basically okay so going back these three games are the three closest games to being games that i might want to play a little bit more than other games they are for all for all purposes could be can be understood as being my golden picks to myself and so they are the three games you know yeah so like they are kind of standouts to me so like i said i roll a tag does any of these match no. Does any of these match? No. Does any of these match? Because what's going to happen is that if I don't have a contest winner, or I don't have something going on like that, 
What I'm going to do as the third slot is this. I'm going to put a wheel of advantages, including these. These at weight two, these at weight one, and these at weight one. And I'm just going to pick one. So if there's nothing going on, there's a very, very high chance that finally a game with an advantage actually gets picked and actually gets played. It doesn't just kind of get either stuffing the ballots forever. It's like stuffing the, the, the poll and just being stuck there in poll purgatory. Or being stuck in a giant wheel where weight just kind of doesn't matter all that much and being stuck in another purgatory. And so, yeah. So, 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 yeah. So, like I was saying, we roll number four in the poll. We roll a tag and we see if any of these fit. If, if they do, awesome. If not, I'll, I'll explain when it needs to do. Uh, for the fifth one, it's going to be something very similar where um, I roll a list of games that I have already Let's Played. They are uh, not including one shots and not including games that were in any of the Alva. So no all the Mega Man game and no all the Asana games. But any games that are not one shots that were not like if I like Mega Man fan games for example I play outside of all the Mega Man or like 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 less intermission with Mega Man X for example those counts as being there and the goal is I would play a game that is similar to to that game that I pick either a sequel either uh, uh, like a a game that is like related like like a spin off. A game from the same producer, a game from the same genre, a game that has thematic links. I'm keeping it pretty, pretty, pretty... Uh, yeah, and that's a past wheel one. That's what that means. I, I'm being pretty vague there because some games it's going to be easier or not. This, as, as a, this is a way for me to facilitate the soft. Like the softs all to, to help them put in the conversation a little bit. The same way that this, the mystery tag wheel, is a way to help put uh, games with advantages on the wheel. And then there's complications if I don't end up having any games that fit the tags or not. And uh, that's a little beside the point. But that's why there's all this complicated flowchart. And at the end of it, yeah, if I don't have any contests or anything, then I roll a wheel with these on it. And that's it. I mean, I guess I don't have to do that today and keep today to three. But I said, I said it'd be three things in the start. I don't want to. I don't. I. I. I don't want to create things. Well, I do, but I don't want to create issues, <laughs> which is fair. Anyways, here's the wheel. I've got. I've got to actually shuffle this time. So you might have no. That's the royal ball. It's not the right one. I got to open the right one. Whoa! It's a bucket list. So, yeah, so you might have noticed, boop, uh, I did not give weights to games with advantage because I'm going to be real, that is like a big hassle with a big list like this. And I think I would, ra like, it, if I don't, I, I just need to add it here. Anyways, I, I like, I kind of need to dig around and I basically end up having to, like, remove and go back. Like, I don't know. Like, in the innards, in the innards of working on this, Working out the what things need advantages or not in a wheel is a big hassle, which is when so I'm going to force... I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. I'm talking a lot. We're going to be rolling three games from the bucket list. I'm going to put them on. Then people are going to vote how to base your cat. Hey, that's a game from the last advent. Um, All right. All right. So there isn't a trailer per se. But there is, um, you can kind of see here, there's a long play here. So I guess I can use that as a, all right. So, so you can see here in the little automated thing, like a little phone, it's a little video game where you got to put things in a way in order to lead water to your stinky cat and then you win. I don't know if this game has seriously any chances of winning, but... I thought that game looked super cute. And it was, yes, part of the all-cat games from Fusion Warrior in the last advent, just popping in right now, immediately. I think that is hilarious. It's how to bathe your cat. is going to be of a second poll that I'm going to put out, also using the ranking site. So there's going to be two different polls. So 
pay attention on the thing. There's gonna be two links for polls, all right? There's gonna be two links to two different polls on the same website. Don't be confused. It's hard to be confused. Kirby's Block Ball. Okay, can I even play that? Kirby's Block Ball is a breakout style Kirby game. Yeah, yeah, so it's the, it's the, I heard it's like actually pretty hard. Uh, I forget if that's the game. No, it's Tilt and Rumble that you can't play anymore, right? Well, you can't really play an emulation. But this one is just on regular Game Boy, so it should play normally, right? Gameplay. Press on a break outside. Yeah, yeah, just keep it by bouncing. I don't know what's happening with my voice there. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, control by left and right button while I control by up and down. No, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it controls normally. Yeah, so Kirby's weird side game here. I'm going to find a um, long play. <laughs> Kirby's Block Ball, I should probably put the real name, except I'm clearly not. I'm keeping all the Poyos at Poyo. I can't Poyo Pinball Land. This is Poyo. Kirby's Block Ball, though it's two words. It's not Block Ball. It's Block, it's block Ball, not Block Ball. Got it? This is called Science. Why? Why would you call that Science? It's out of my control. I only have one nose. That's true. <laughs> sure. Okay. Soul Calibur is an important game of my childhood. I put GameCube there, but honestly, I might not use GameCube. Like, I will use whatever version of the game plays the best on a computer, but I just kind of put GameCube by default because it's my personal nostalgia thing. So, Soul Calibur is a weapon-based fighting game. Cool, I've played fighting games for the channel before. That's a thing that can happen. However, so Edge Master Mode is this own thing where you get like a whole bunch of gimmicky fights where like weapons do crazy thing or a guy is giant or you're fighting against a giant statue that's from the background. Like, it's just a whole bunch of crazy silly gimmicks. It's absolutely something I want to personally re-experience. I'm gonna be honest, because I try to be very honest in the... I don't know if it would make a great video series, but it's a childhood thing, teenage thing, that I do want to re-experience, and that's why it's in the bucket. Straight out. I do wonder, like, if to unlock things in an Edge Master mode, if you need to beat things in a normal game and it ends up being a let's play of the whole Soul Calibur game? Because, like, if that was the case, like, that's fine for me, too. Uh, I think it would be a lot of fun. And, you know, like, there's, like, little bits of lore and that. It's also, like, super hard at some point. It gets, like, absolutely ridiculous. So, look forward to that. And those are the three random games and that were pick and boy howdy were they random and now so here's here's the magic now a powerful wizard casts a spell and we will see if the spell that was cast can lead us to the return of a game that has existing advantage i don't know bbd bop Make robot sounds, I don't know why, I lost it on the ground. A game whose art is mostly pixel based. Uh, got any pixels? Well, okay. Treaty, treaty, treaty. I think Rain World is pixels. Tr pixels? Oh, this one though. I feel like this is all about the pixels. Okay. So, there is an element of choice, but you see how this works, right? I've looked specifically in the high tier advantage, and I picked one. I didn't even look there, I didn't even look there. They're the highest tier advantage. If there was no game that qualified, I look there. Like, you understand? You understand how this... I think... I think it's very simple. Okay, Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon. Uh, we can find a... something for that. Okay, there's already a red bar here, so this is a trailer we've already watched together, but whatever, it's fine. It's here. Yeah, so it's a it's 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 a game, it's a Castlevania-like. Oh, you're loud. 
demon kind it's strong. extreme but see that's why i think that this qualifies the most as pixel based game because it is a modern game that is using the pixel aesthetic. That matters to me. Anyway, yeah, it's an odd Castlevania by the creator of the classic Castlevania. And like, it looks super rad, it looks super cool. It's a game you have to play through like twice because of like secret passages that you need to get using your friends in New, in new Game Plus and whatnot. I don't know, this looks fantastic. I want to play this. This looks super cool, Rad. And I mean, it almost won a past poll. I don't remember what poll that was. It feels like it was maybe a while. And I think this is why we're now at a range where I can do these things. Like in the early days, like yeah, returning pollsters was a little bit sad. But as you saw, we've accumulated a lot of polls, a lot of games. So we can I have a card. So we can basically have this going in a way where it doesn't feel nearly as repetitive as it was during the first era of the wheel. Anyway, I have not been paying any attention at all to the gravelly voice man. Cause this game makes me very excited. There's like big bosses, I don't know if they show them at some point. It just looks fantastic. Let's check it out. That lady is the, is, is the Belmont. Except she's not Belmont, I don't think. Not legally. Legally, the Sting Belmont. The best way. Check out that guy, the big mace. He's like, check it out. I'm made of huge pieces. And then whoosh! Check out that siege engine. I'm the train. That's my train. That's Turtle. That's Treasure Knight. <laughs> That's the background of Treasure Knight. But he added a treasure. Alright, you're revealing like all the bosses. Well, I'll have plenty of time to forget the details. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. But yes, Bloodstain, Curse Blood of the Moon, raises the moon. from the ashes and becomes th the advantaged slot for Available May this... 24th, 2008. Wow. You did it. A million years ago, Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon was released. And maybe I can play it soon. I don't know. Okay. All right. So, see... This is sweet, we got pure random, we got a returner, and now we look for sequel, side games, or anything else that may inspire me. Alright, so yeah, and I forgot to put the, put something, woo, you can do that. Wheels of sequels and offshoots, is that it? Yeah, I misspelled choice, and then I copy and pasted it constantly. I'm very good at this. Writing is hard. This music seems a lot less loud compared to the trailer that we have just seen. Wario Land 3. Do you know what? You know what? You know what? There's a game I've never played and that I really really want to play and it's a little game that we like to call WarioWare <laughs> why did they make this so weird I don't know so to anyone who doesn't know what WarioWare is it is a thing where things happen yeah there we go <laughs> it's like it's a series of tiny little micro games like that's the name of the game right just and you got to do them fast and it's super cool it's super neat if you don't know what it is, I will put a long player something so you can see what it is. Wario game game WarioWare games have always fascinated me. And I I've always wanted to play. I just never had the chance. I never just really had the occasion. Now there's a possible occasion. Uh, so this is sort of like how it's going to split. People wanting me to have more say on what I play. Still love the luck, still love the tags. This is sort of combining every element together, and we get ourselves this really funky little, uh, little, uh, little slot. Well, yeah, a little competition for the second slot, I guess, is funky little pole. And to me, this is really exciting. I get to choose things. No, yeah, I'm liking this a lot. So remember, two poles. One pole is going to be Sigma's pick, and the other pole is sort of like proto inaugural tryout of the new way to make these little voting events work pick two very different selections with very different results to be expected and yeah 
I also want to try out, just let's pick, pick one of these as the fourth. I want to try it. So, all the way down to another special world has two instead of one. And it's important to know that for this, for the fourth slot, I do not include Bloodstain. By being chosen to be in the main pool, it is not included in the final spin. It has removed itself from the realm of being advantage and put itself into the mainstream. Not at all in the... Yeah, I guess so. I'm saying things. So this is going to be quick and simple. Like the mystery slot is going to have to be renamed because this is the opposite of a mystery. So yeah, this I didn't need to do today, but like I said, I just want to go through the full experience and this is part of the full experience. Here comes Nico! Wow, Gears for Breakfast, huh? Published by Gear for Breakfast, it's, yeah, it's, uh, I'm gonna play it now. I'm just gonna flat out play it. Here comes Nico. Look at that. Advantage paid off. Look at that. Boop. You're not even there anymore. You are. I'm just gonna put you there so I remember when I put the list together. I'm just gonna play it outright. I'm gonna play get the game chosen by Rixie Chow, and then I'm gonna play whatever wins this, and then I'm gonna play whatever wins this, and then I gotta play Here Comes Nico. It's, it's just there. It's just chosen. It got advantage once, but then never managed to get anywhere. And it lost to Guacamelee too. And then was just kind of lingering. Well, you are lingering no more, friend. You have been chosen. By sheer arbitrary chance. Ooh, I like that. But wow, this video is long. Will they all be this long in the future? It's not impossible. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know if that's avoidable. Ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-bow-ba-do-bow.